one thing that my friend Blake and I talk about a lot is the, the forgetting curve. There's this a German psychologist in the 1800s who pioneered experimental memory research. And his name is Ehrman uh, Ebbinghaus. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that exactly correct, so I apologize to any German speakers on, on, on the call here. But Ebbinghaus pioneered research around the forgetting curve and the learning curve. Most of us have heard of the learning curve, or probably too really understand what that means. But a for forgetting curve, most people haven't heard of. The forgetting curve is where he actually took like nonsense syllables, practiced memorizing them, and then he would graph over time when he attempted to recall these syllables, he'd graph over time like, how he forgot these. And he created a curve that showed how long it took him, he was actually running the study on himself, how long it took him to forget things. And then later on over, over the decades and decades, this has been replicated over and over again. And so there's a lot of different forgetting curves out there that all have a similar slope. And you can see how people on average lose their memory of, of something they learned over time. And so a lot of the base of learning in the kind of realm of memorization, which is the first part of trying to get stuff into your head, is our attempts to overcome this forgetting curve. Sure. They're, they're attempts to flatten the curve and make it so that we don't forget things as quickly. Instead, it takes it longer for us to forget something. <laughs>